this time for our Tales for Surgeons Hall, we're looking at two objects just behind me in the case here. One of which is part of our original collection, the skull showing a man suffering from very severe syphilis that's likely to be over 200 years old. And right alongside it, a very modern facial reconstruction of this very skull that was done 10 years ago for us. And the story behind it is a great example of how research and museum can really come to fruition and really add to the story. So, 10 years ago we were approached by a student at Dundee University who was doing the forensic art course, who was very interested in syphilis and its effects on the body. And when she came into the museum and looked around her store, she came across this skull that hadn't been on display and wanted to base her master's project on it. So she got permission from Dundee University to bring a scanner down. She made very accurate scans. She then made computer renders of this skull to build up a fuller picture and done some beautiful illustrations, 2D illustrations, that all became part of this, this master's project. And the final crowning piece of the project was a full reconstruction that you can see just beside me here. And what she's tried to do is show the surface of the, the skin on my extreme right here, uh, showing the sores and the lesions of the, the skin, and then cut away on the opposite side of the face, it shows the damage to the underlying structures. And we were very lucky when the project was finished that the student very kindly offered her work to the museum.